Hello students, now we are going to look at the polynomial reduction for the Hamiltonian circuit problem to the traveling salesman problem. Um, a Hamiltonian circuit, as you may know, is to basically find a tour that starts with one vertex, goes around all the vertices, and comes back to the starting vertex. Now, the Hamiltonian circuit problem uh, could be run on any graph. The graph need not be a complete graph. By complete graph, you know, uh, each vertex has to be connected to all the other vertices. So the Hamiltonian circuit problem can be run on any graph. Okay. Now, so for the reduction, what we are going to do is we are going to construct a complete graph G prime. So what we want to do is this: <coughs> uh, given graph G on which we want to find the Hamiltonian circuit we are going to construct a complement uh, uh, sorry complete graph G star right uh, is actually a weighted uh, it's a weighted complete graph G star such that the weight of an edge UV is equal to 1 if if uh, uv if edge uv x is in g otherwise the weight of edge uv is going to be 2 which means uh, I can put the otherwise here. Let me just put it this way. All right. So, um, so now we have this complete graph. Now we have this complete graph. G prime, G star. Okay. Now we can run we run the traveling salesman algorithm on G star right to determine a minimum weight two. If the weight of the minimum if the weight of the two is going to be equal to the number of vertices in the graph then the tour has only all edges of weight 1 so because if you, you know a tour on n vertices has to have n edges so if the weight of a tour is going to be equal to the number of vertices in the graph basically then all the edges that are part of the tour are each of weight 1 if any edge has weight 2 the weight of the tour is going to be greater than n right because n is the number of vertices so if you have n vertices, you're going to have n edges on the tour, and if each of those edges are going to be of weight 1, the total weight of the tour is going to be n, right? So I, want, I can write that. So if a, two, a tour on n vertices is going to have n edges, only if only if all these edges are of weight n or of weight 1 then the weight of the tour is going to be to be n right so um, if there exists if the weight of the tour is more than n then the complete graph G prime does not have uh, a traveling salesman tour of weight n right that's what it means uh, and uh, that is implicit right then it implies that what well, then it implies the minimal uh, or the optimal TSP tour has to involve at least one edge of weight 2. 
So this implies the Hamiltonian, which means what? Um, uh, Hamiltonian circuit, right? Uh, if you want to intermediate step, which means there has to, there is no optimal tour that is possible involving only edges of weight one. So this implies there is no Hamiltonian circuit possible in the original graph G such that uh, um, um, we can go around all the vertices and come back to the starting vertex right so if we can find a minimal weight uh, traveling salesman tour on g star then it implies that there is a hamiltonian circuit on g right clear okay now this reduction can be done in polynomial time why this mapping um time it takes to construct this complete graph g star is going to take how many how long is going to take um, the construction of this G prime of G star is going to take uh, theta of n, I just say theta of n, right? Because we have, uh, sorry, n square. Let me just put n square like this. As there are n square edges in the graph, in the complete graph. Uh, we can say actually big O of n square if you want because uh, right it's actually n times n minus 1 over 2 right as there are n times n minus 1 over 2 edges on a complete graph right so this is the proof for reducing the Hamiltonian circuit problem to a traveling salesman problem.